because it's not just a thing of faith moves. We say faith moves and we kind of bypass that a faith move requires surrender. It requires submission. It requires obedience. It requires denying yourself at times. It, when people hear submission and, and denying yourself and all of that, it's like, I'm losing me. What about me? Me, me. But listen, now we are in Christ and in Christ, every promise is fulfilled. So we don't have to worry about lacking anything. We can give our last because he is our source. When that widow woman obeyed those instructions, which is another revelation, it wasn't just about giving someone something because some often use that scripture for one side of revelation of, you know, the giving portion, but that was actually symbolic of Jesus, the bread and life. He said, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. When we eat the when we eat the bread of life, eternal life, see food that we eat in the natural, okay, it decomposes, it comes out as waste, it sustains us, it has us to live, but it cannot provide eternal life, okay? And so this, uh, all these moments, that's like I said in the beginning, these miracles always point back to Jesus. She just didn't get a miracle because this was some type of magic. See, when you go into the world, they have magic, they have ma magicians, they have sorcerers. They perform these these magic tricks to bring glory to themselves. They perform these magic tricks just to awe people, just to wow people, just to change it for money. I can make this happen and get you some results just for money. But whenever God performs a miracle, it's not to um, make the prophet a celebrity, to make the evangelist a celebrity, to put that church on the map. It is to bring glory to God. It is to reveal God and is speaking another revelation. Within that miracle, you are going to see a testimony of Jesus, just like prophecy is comes by the spirit of Jesus is the testimony of Jesus. So is every miracle. So every miracle that you're waiting for is not just about your healing. So you can go on about your day. That's the benefit of it. But the deeper revelation is that healing is attached somewhere to God's will, a kingdom purpose, even if it's sharing your testimony.